Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? So I'm going to play a Fenrir game, but I'm going to do it a little differently than what you guys expect. Normally when I play Fenrir, I tend to go full power. And I tend to kind of go like balls to the wall type stuff. But uh, here... Now, Bakasur is not the best enemy for this, obviously, but I'm going to be going full defense. And there is, there's exactly two reasons why I think I might be able to win this game. And the, I mean, literally, there's only two reasons. Number one is the fact that if I max my three, uh, hold on, what relic should I? Probably like beads, right? Because then I can like jump out of his alt. Uh, if I max my three, then I can. do a lot of like base damage because my three does what is this up to 165 base damage at max rank which is just oh, like a shit ton i should probably just put two points in that right what well 75 it's it goes up by 30 but it hits four times so it actually goes up by 120 yep screw it i'm not i'm not getting my oh hello Nice. Do you think that he will let me have this? Or do you think he's coming back? Oh my god, he actually let me have it? What? <clears throat> he did red. What the heck? Boom, baby. Now, this is a good build if you're trying to be super tanky. Unfortunately for me, and like very fortunately for him, he has he has true damage. So it doesn't really work the same way. Why did why does he clear someone? Never mind. I have full tank. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of holding my own here. Look at that damage though, baby. Get him, minions. Oh, let's go. They actually got him. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Yo, when's the last time you told your minions to get him and they didn't? It's like common practice, man. Let's go. They actually got him. That's actually so hype. I'm so hyped for that. All right. We got the breastplate online. We're feeling pretty good. We are feeling pretty good. I can't believe I killed him. That's crazy. All right. He is going golden blade and golden gooseberry. So his clear is going to be freaking phenomenal. Mine is going to be nowhere near that. But. I mean. My cooldowns help, right? Maybe. I really don't do much damage. Okay, but see that that okay, perfect example. Two hundred and seventy-six damage from my for my three, for my four hits on my three, while being only zero power tank. Perfect example. Um, he run. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, I know why he ran. 
All right, I want my full passive so that my three does a little bit more damage. Perfect. Grab the red buff. Perfect. Grab the berserker shield. Perfect. Give me a little bit of attack speed. You know I need it. You know I need it. I haven't been able to uh, use my beads, which is both a blessing and a curse, I guess, because it makes me look stupid, but also it makes me look good. That's fine. That's fine. Don't do that. Nice. I got it. Okay. You can just eat that. My mistake. Wow, you're like super fast. Okay, now that he's getting defense, I see where this could go pretty bad. <laughs> I really need, uh, what is it called? I really need anti-heal. Okay, yeah, you're going to eat. I know. You're munching. Dude, my three does like 400 damage almost. Oh, I'm stupid. I don't know why it beads. I used my beads, but I really didn't have to. I don't know why. I just, in my head, I was like, he all did I beads. That's it. There was no more, there was no explanation. There was no like reasoning or deductive skills that I had to pull out. I just thought, uh, okay, he, he alts, I, I press beads. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go glad shield now. Um, I could also go phalanx. Honestly, dude, cannoneers might be decent too. Just because like, oh my gosh, that berserker shield makes me feel actually so strong. I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. I'm, I'm stuck. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, man. All right, fine. Fine by me. We'll go back. I mean, there's not really much I can do here, right? I just got to wait it out. Once I get glad shield, that should pump some numbies for me. I should also go Pridwin. Unfortunately, I mistimed my back, so I lose red buff. That kind of sucks, because that's the only power I can get this game. And it's it's six, by the way. What if I ult you into my tower? Oh. All right. He just backs. I wonder if Pridwin is worth buying. Maybe a Contagion, actually. Oh, I missed my three. Oh, he beat that. All right. All right. His blue is spawning. Perfect. Right. 
He knows he can't kill me. Your middle tower is under attack. Go back. Grab this. Uh, I do want to go Contagion, actually. I do think it'll be good. Leveling my alt basically only gives me damage. It gives me some tankiness when I'm like full runes, but that's not too much. That's not too important. You know, the build I'm going for is full tank, but I don't need to like add to the, the six tank items I'm buying with abilities. Oh man. That kid's is shredding me, by the way. Actually, no, it's not. It's doing almost nothing to me. Never mind. I can't fight him while his thing is up. His true damage. But that's fine. He actually able to get my tower here? Your tower oh shit, I think he is. I don't think I do enough damage to stop him. I got the kill, but for what? It did nothing. It did nothing for me. Also, Contagion literally only does 25% anti-heal. Like, it doesn't do anything else, does it? I need to go Amp Armor. And probably Thorns. Because Thorns reflects pre-medicated damage. Yeah, using the item reflects 30% of all damage you take before mitigations. He went double defense himself. I do have Emp Armor. All right, I mean, I killed him. I killed him. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything for me. I lost my tower, but I killed him. Even through his double defense. What did the most damage? 20 auto attacks did 950 damage. Bro, 20 auto attacks? His kids is starting to chunk, by the way. 15 auto attacks, his kins did 300. That's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. Also, his contagion did 243 damage to me. Because all I'm doing is stunning him with my one and my alt. Oh, jeez. What's my last item, by the way? Like, uh, do I actually go... Am I actually going Contagion for just 25% anti-heal? That feels not good. That doesn't feel like it's going to be very pog. I mean, well, fuck it, I guess. But, like, I don't want to. I'm going to get the uh, thorns that gets lowered whenever I get auto-attacked. The sapping strength. Because... I need a low cooldown. 
I basically need to use it every fight. All right, he's getting that. I would like to stop it. What if he's going to ult this? Nice. Did he get more tanky? I feel like he did. My three only hit for 290 damage. I think what this game is going to come down to is basically who has more patience and it's going to be him. Demon. Backing. Are we backing? Are we backing or are you faking me out here? Oh, I can get power from a red buff. A red pot. Holy shit. 54? That's actually insane. But there's no way you're going to Bull Demon. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I just heard him back. Oh, I can get some penetration from a 3k pot too, can't I? Alright, that might be what I have to do for Pen. Oh, you shell, you shell. No. No, the shell. My thorns did 276 damage. I thought it'd do way more than that. Bro, his kins did more damage than his auto attacks. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, man. Um, maybe I would go Manticore Spikes. Because then whenever I CC him, I get 3% of my own HP as magic damage. Which isn't much, but it might add up. Oh my god, I have to deal with fire minions. There's no way, is there? Is there a way? Dude, I was 5-0. And, oh. and now I'm 5-1 and, and we're even. Fine by me. No alt in the middle of a fight. I'll freaking take it, dude. I 
I have to tank. I have to tank. It's the only option, dude. It is actually almost impossible for me to clear these things. <laughs> I did get my Martha Gore spikes. Oh my god. I dude, it takes me the entirety of the 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 duration between waves like leaving and meeting is how long it takes me to clear one wave. That's absurdity. Dang, dude. He's laugh spamming. I'm getting laugh spammed while I went six out of Fenrir versus Avakasura. I went double defense. All right, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun doing it, even if uh, even if I held an L. It is what it is. I still enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. I actually out damaged him, which is funny. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.